My name is Lauren Capaletti and I'm quarantining here at Vandenberg Air Force Base in California. I spent the last seven months planning for a collection that I'm not able to launch right now. Right when we got our stay at home orders, I the previous day before the governor put that order out, I had been location scouting for a photo shoot that I don't know when that's gonna happen. I wanna just give myself you know, like a little bit of a grieving period for the things that I was working really hard on. And it's not, it's not that they won't ever happen. Maybe I'll shoot the stuff on me. I mean, there's going to have to be some other way to get things done. I have a place that I work with that does the grading. Let's just maybe ship stuff back and forth. Okay, I'll ship it to you. I know you're going to leave the paper in the cardboard box for three, four days, and then you ship it to me. We'll leave it for three, four days. There's a quote that I really like, and I think it's something like, out of struggle comes great growth. I do like jewelry making and stuff like that. So I said, you know what? Maybe this is a time to focus on other parts that maybe I was worried would be risky. What can I experiment with at home? And then maybe when everything's open back up, you know, maybe it'll be a new opportunity. I had some 100% cotton. So I started making masks. And this past week, just me in my little studio, um, as of today, I will have put out another 60 mask so I'm sewing as fast as I can <laughs> I can't keep them I can't keep them in in my studio so I'm doing a combination of both selling and donating but the selling allows me to keep donating this is my mask it's kind of cool because I feel like a bandit <laughs> I have a ton of different prints and all kinds of stuff we do need to donate to like healthcare workers and um my poor mail lady I, I put one in the mail for her but um Literally, my, my whole studio is just like stacks of cut fabric. Full honesty, real talk. I have no idea what I'm going to do next. I know that I have ideas, but I know that maybe they'll work, maybe they won't. I'm friends with a lot of the different people who are um, previous FSF scholars like myself. At any time, if I want to reach out to them and ask for advice or mentorship or even just kind of commiserate with them, this is the time to do it. And I feel really grateful for having that network. We're all in this together, you know, the together apart. Now more than ever.